So, Plato speaks about the trueness to self being and harmonization. So, I once knew a guy named Mapenzela who, in high school, actually was able to do this magnificently that women would actually follow him wherever he went and i always asked myself what was the secret and i actually got a chance to actually speak to this casanova right and he told me that he had recognized his flaws and he embraced them in a way that made him stand out i was shocked the guy wasn't rich the guy wasn't smart at all and the guy was skinny and tall that's why we called him pencils because he was very thin but everyone loved him and what he had recognized was that being able to, being true to oneself and being in harmony with oneself was actually what most women found to be an attractive trait, which was interesting, right? It is interesting. It, it's actually really interesting. And how is that so? So let's look, let's look at this. So um, the idea of moral integrity uh, comprises all of a lot of things, but there's five that I want us to understand in this episode. Wholeness, consistency, identity, honesty, and moral commitment, right? And let me repeat that. Wholeness, consistency, identity, honesty, and moral commitment. So what my pencil I had realized or recognized was that he had to be consistent to who he was, so being himself each and every single day, being true to himself every single day, um, that linked to his identity, him recognizing his flaws and embracing them, being honest with himself, and also the wholeness, the whole being and the moral commitment. So whereby your whole being, your mind, your, 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 your thoughts, your, your emotions, your body, every single thing, right, is in is in consistency uh not inconsistency but is in harmony yes <laughs> is in harmony with who you are it's in harmony with who you are so i also found another interesting article by um Laibi ma a psychology today so ma was saying that moral moral integrity is about open communication honesty trust and responsibility and onto that i'd like to add accountability so when we fuse accountability with responsibility we and respect and how that happens is because we do not make excuses so we actually admit to our wrongs we actually admit to to the problems we actually admit to to us to our failures as well which is interesting, we admit to our failures that as men we are not able to do everything. We are able to admit that we do not have particular skills or knowledge, which is really brilliant, I think. And also, you being able to readily admit that you are wrong, you know, saying, okay, I'm wrong, I don't know this, shows that you're honest, you have that open communication, and you can be trusted. And the nice thing here look at the open communication it's not about you being open and open communicated to the people around you but it's being able to communicate honestly with yourself as well right so you being able to 